Hello everybody, my name is Nairi from Creative Kingfisher and it's my great pleasure to show you this ju junk journal flip through today. Um, it's my first junk journal that is going to be for sale and I'll put the Kofi link below or it might end up being an Etsy link, I don't know, but the link will be below and I think I'm going to call her Botanical Vintage, I think, because it's kind of botanical inspired, a little bit grungy in places, but it's not all botanical. Um, the first thing to say is it's an altered book, so this is actually a scooped out book, so it's a hardcover inside. It has a two inch spine, which perhaps for my next junk journal, I might have to rethink, uh, because obviously <laughs> she is cram packed full, and she kind of falls like this to about I'm gonna say about seven inches. Uh, there is a little clip here with the dangle on, which is removable, and that has just been made of uh, buttons and lace and different beads and things. And what I will say about the journal is there is a lot of genuine vintage in here. Well, see, not everything. I didn't really use a kit. I used a few images from my own kit, but most of it is kind of vintagey junk journal junk journal sorry vintage and original but i'll point out the original stuff uh when i get there what what else have i done so i've used a hard material here it's almost like a, a curtain material and some softer fabric here which is cotton and i have made a bag to go with the journal uh she just about fits in i'll include it in the in the package when I send off so there's a kind of clip there and she sits in there and the fabric matches matches her okay so that's just a little extra all right so the closure is this quite sturdy ribbon just stuck inside and let's get going shall we I'll try to not take hours on it but just show you the main you know bits and bobs so vintage pocket here vintage picture that's a Thomas Hardy picture there uh, sometimes I've aged stuff sometimes it's already old enough to not need it and a tag there side it's heavily decorated so if you're the type of person who likes loads and loads of journaling space this is not the this is not the one for you I'm gonna say uh, little writing space there I will say that toward the end of the journal though there is a probably a little bit more writing space and I'll show you there's a little booklet also included so tag there in the belly band kind of thing there uh, sorry <laughs> I forget where I put tags tag there I've done a lot of sewing throughout I've done some stick sticking some sewing sewing happens more I think toward the middle of the journal and there's another tag here there. Um, this is an original piece here uh, from a, a children's book I'm sure you recognize those images sorry I might have to take some of these things off as we go along another tag here kind of work behind loads of lace in the journal as well then there's this kind of like bookmark that I've made I've tried to ha have a lot of textures and, and feely things going on here because I really enjoy that myself uh, a belly band a tag here and just a few bits and bobs in there opportunity for you to add your own of course i just done quite a lot of decorating but there is opportunity uh, space for tags there um, this is original vintage lace here I probably didn't actually point out this is vintage a lot of the lace is vintage especially if it's beige colored and also the pages I must say there are about 56 pages but I've added in loads of fabric pages vellum pages and flip outs as well so the total number of pages is not 56 but that was the amount that went in it's just one signature I didn't mention that either today uh it's the flip out that's an original children's book page there I've got a little envelope clipped in uh vintage ribbon and to be honest this envelope was originally vintage even though I've uh, kind of spiced it up a little bit it was also originally vintage as well and that one 
and goes in there. There we go, pop it in. Anyway, all of the details, like the technical details, will be included on my Kofi page or if it ends up, so I'll probably put it on Kofi for a week and if it doesn't go on Kofi, then I'll list it on Etsy. So all the details will be listed. Original book, vintage book there. This is definitely original vintage lace here and that's become like a page that you can open up there. And then we have like a folio thing here which you can tie together like so. And inside you have some nice reindeers, a bit of sewing going on. I think this at this point I started getting into the sewing a little bit more. Now I've left all the threads on, but obviously if you hate that feel, I'm kind of messy kind of girl. Like I like it all to look a bit random and original and things like that. But if you don't like that, you could just go along and just chop all the threads off and that would be fine. Absolutely fine. But I have left the threads on quite a bit throughout because I like that. And here's another flip out. So this is what I mean. Like the flip out pages are not included in that 56. So I've added in some sewing pages there. Done a bit of a funky design on the sewing. Some original vintage silky stuff going on here. This print out here was one of mine from my woodland, secret woodland. So I've used a couple of my own images in there, but I'd only just made this kit uh, toward the end of making this journal. So there's not that much of it in there. Uh, from an original jewellery piece. Don't know if that's vintage, I can't remember. Vintage piece of material, vintage from book cover. That's one of my images there. Belly band. Uh, definitely vintage lace there. That's kind of falling apart a little bit, but I like that about it. And then a little card in here. Somewhere to journal. So there's a lot of fabric in Oh, there's an original piece of jewellery there as well. There's a lot of fabric in here. I've kind of added lace quite a bit to put, oh, put that one back on in a minute. I've added lace quite a bit to everything I've done, really. These pages here, so for example, this is part of the original signature, but this is original. This is not like copied. This is original vintage music paper. So I had to strengthen the papers quite a lot of the material because a lot of the paper, even though I've coffee dyed it as well, was actually vintage paper as well. So it needed strengthening places. So sometimes you'll see, like I've added my print on there. Um, I mean, I might pop some white paper on there for anybody who might want to write on there, but that could be done afterward. Okay, so here's a nice little kind of journaling card. I made this one on camera, so if you wanna see how that went, you can check that out for my videos. A couple of cute little tags there. Went a bit more florally there. Occasionally, I've gone for a pretty page, uh, but it's a bit more grungy than, than pretty, probably. Uh, some sari silk there. I think that's original lace. These are some of my prints from that woodland kit that I'm talking about there. This is definitely an original piece of vintage page. And here's a big sorry silk clip, which is a lovely little add-on, a, a nice little drop, which I thought kind of added something to the middle of, getting to the middle of the signature now. And nice little card there. And should I stop saying nice little? Nice little pop that back on all these things can be taken off put back on again how you please sort of thing well I'll stop saying little nice little this nice little that there we go let's pop that on all right blank more of a blank page so journaling space there original vintage paper let's pop that back in there and then a vintage uh, poem from Thomas Hardy. I used to be into Thomas Hardy when I was younger as somebody that I studied in my English groups. This is not vintage, but it's a nice little fold out. You can put things inside. I'm gonna say nice little again. <laughs> I'll punch that right, I need to stop doing that. It's funny, isn't it, when you watch certain 
people on YouTube that have got their sayings and you notice them saying it a lot and you're like, stop saying that. I'll try. Okay, vintage vintage material lace there. This is a printout from that kit I was talking to you about, Secret Woodlands. So it's two different kits. One's number one kit, number two kit. They both got 15 pages. I think this is in the first kit. I thought that would be nice for journaling there. And then this is a vintage cushion cover cut down and there's a few nice bits in here so these bits of paper are from a fairy book an artist fairy book so it's not vintage but the actual photographs would be older and I thought that was a nice inclusion and um, just a piece of the book on the back there some silk raw silk materials vintage lace and one of my prints behind there give her a bit of colour. So I like a little bit of colour even if it is um, more grungy. So tags, a pocket there. Actually do you know what I'll do that in a minute. I'll have to go back and pop things in. Vintage lace, vintage map, vintage paper. Pocket here, tag. Tags under here. Places for you to write. I've gone for a ripped unfinished look okay if, if you're looking for neat and tidy yeah probably not for you okay lots of tags for you to mess around with in there and another sari silk clip if I say another yes it was sari silk before wasn't it and some beads on there just for a bit of colour again I hold that one in place it's my little hedgehog envelope which I'm quite proud of with decoupage I did that as well in the video if you want to see all right so nice little um oh I did it again a uh, piece of writing there from a original book and then we've got some tags going on in there some material material pocket tag there plain piece of paper there and there Again, these are printouts from my kit. Uh, pretty lace. And then this one opens out. This is a, another picture from that pair, fairy book that I was telling you about there. And I've stamped the paper here. And I've added in some pen and some more writing space. Ah. So you do get some writing space in the end and a tag and another piece of the children's book that I was telling you about. So that's pretty sure that's Beatrix Potter from what I can remember. Put that back in. If not, we'll just move swiftly on. There we go. Sorry guys. Okay, I'll put that back in a minute. So that would have clipped on the other side. So, <clears throat> out of an old book, an old photograph somewhere. And as I say, this clips on the other side of that clip. I'm sure I can put it on for that one there. This was a bit more of an unusual undertaking here. So we've got these materials here, an original applique there, original lace, vintage lace. And then this was some old jewelry and I made like a little wallet. This came out of a vintage book. It just goes in there. We've got all these nice little ribbons. Should I say nice little again? And some lace and some tags. wraps around like that and then pops back in there there's two pockets here so there's some original book stuff in there as well there's some original original book stuff there and another tag there that sits in there this is from a Heidi book places the journal behind and then in here we've got some fabric beautiful colour fabric 
some lace and a place to put some little tags again in there and then in that goes in there and here we have some original vintage lacy material again <clears throat> and lots of places to put tags in there should you wish and my print from my woodland paper there and I've covered the music paper just to strengthen a little bit with this lovely paper this is <clears throat> again a original vintage material in here that you can play around with in that envelope pocket there have some real fun with this page so there's a place to put a tag there but there's lots of different fabrics and materials and different things going on as well as that dried flower with some pearls stuck on there vintage lace again and some nice paper fabric type paper there and some fabrics some speciality paper in there and then here we've got a nice flower but in here is an envelope and I've stuffed a lot of different tags for you to play around with that you can add into any part of the journal that you like and it's a good storage place for any additional tags you want to have in there some fabric when we get to the back of here I've collaged on here there's a nice place for you to write there but then I've started to kind of leave more paper for you some vintage fabric there but i've left some more journaling space for you near the back particularly that's from my printout and we have a little booklet place to open up there places to write there and then i've left two blank pages for you on the back and then at the very back there's a booklet that i've made and it's got this lacy, charmy thing going on here. It's got some vellum in, it's got some speciality paper. So some of you can kind of journal at the back. She is packed hard, isn't she, with stuff uh, compared to the size of the spine, but I hope you still like her. Uh, I've really enjoyed doing it and I hope to do many more journals. So I hope you've enjoyed that flip through and that you'll consider buying this junk journal as I say click through on my Kofi link if that's in the description if there's an Etsy link there then I've added her to Etsy as well and I will see you on my channel if you like this type of thing on Creative Kingfisher thank you